Good morning, loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Genesis. Me and my boyfriend are about to go to breakfast with his parents. They were in town for Amara's birthday. I didn't vlog Amara's birthday. I did make a lot of TikToks, like a whole TikTok series on it that I'll be posting on my reels. So if you guys want to see and know what we did for her birthday, I will definitely be posting that on my channel and on my other other social medias, including TikTok and Instagram. So you guys will still be able to see, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's been a while. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for almost two weeks. I've really just been, I don't know, I guess recuperating like getting myself back together trying to you know come back with better content and better planned content so that's really why you guys haven't been seeing me i need to brush my teeth so we can go i'm already dressed i'll show you guys the fit in a second like i said we're gonna go eat breakfast with my in-laws and drop them off at daycare first and yeah let's just see where the rest of the day takes us this is a realistic two days in my life so i really don't have like everything planned step by step and i don't really know exactly what we're doing but we're just going with the flow why well, i'm gonna call it a realistic 24 hours in my life well anyways i'm gonna brush my teeth so i could come back to you guys with clean breath because why am i talking to you guys with dirty breath that's nasty <laughs> excited for you guys to see everything I've been working on there's a lot of like little things here and there that I've been working on that I'm obviously gonna release soon I'm just really excited for you guys to see it all in the meantime if you're not shopping Mara's way you're definitely missing out I have my shirts on there so you guys need to go check it out I'm gonna put it on the screen and it's always in my description check out my little boutique for little shirts to be a baddie on a budget like who don't want to be a baddie on the budget I want to be a baddie on budget I am a baddie on budget so y'all go check my boutique out all right let's go like right now i will be so i literally shouldn't have even picking up the camera right now that's how late i am Literally, let's go to work because I am almost like. I'm not 
be able to record, obviously. This is really the only footage you guys might get. But yeah, I'm about to go on the floor now. I'm trying to get a walkie that works. Stop it. So, that's a little fit. I literally just threw something on because like I told y'all I was late. But yeah, I'm about to go out to the floor and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so I am back from work. Honestly, hold on. Is this lighting better? Yeah, a little bit. So I'm back from work and I'm getting ready to go to another apartment tour. I don't know if you guys could tell, but we really did not like the apartment we saw yesterday. So we are still on the hunt for a new home. I actually have footage of us looking at other apartments and I literally started editing it, editing it and everything but I really wasn't liking how the video was coming out because I felt like I wasn't taking my time with recording the places and stuff which is what I feel like I did yesterday also so I'm just gonna add the apartments we're looking at now in this video and that's just how we'll do that I don't think I'm gonna post the video that I have already been editing because like I said I really don't like the way I was recording I'm not gonna post something I'm not happy with I'm sorry like I'm not doing that. We are going to do another tour right now. We should be leaving right now, but it's okay. The place is too far, so I think we're still good. Work was okay. It was really slow, to be honest, which is sometimes good, but sometimes annoying because it feels like time goes by super slow. I'm really excited to move, honestly. Like, I love the idea of a new space and a new scenery. So I'm excited to go see this one that we're seeing today because um, my boyfriend's already been in the area and he says that it's really, really nice. So I'm excited for that. And who knows, maybe this will be the one. We will see and I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But for now, girl, there's nothing else going on. I need to get my eyebrows done. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow or sometime this week. Also, this was supposed to be a spend 24 hours with me, but I think I'm going to make it more of a spend 72 hours with me or maybe even a couple days in my life, something like that, because I did not get a lot of footage yesterday. Literally, after we saw the apartment, I just came home and relaxed, work on, worked on some online stuff that i'm going to be putting out soon which i'm really excited for but i didn't do anything else that was like worth recording to be honest and also i've just been in a little bit of a slump like not a slump that's like I'm, my mood is down or anything but i'm having a hard time being productive and i'm having a hard time like feeling motivated to do certain things and i know we're not going to always feel motivated so you shouldn't wait for motivation but it's the type of feeling where like First of all, I feel like I'm always tired. That's one thing. I think I told you guys that earlier, but that's like one of the main things I'm struggling with. It's like I will get eight hours of sleep and still feel tired the next morning. And I think it has to do with my iron probably, but like I've really been battling that these past couple of days. So it's like my brain, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make my bun look cuter because it's giving... It's not getting cute to me right now. I'll know that I want to do something specific in that day, but by the time it comes to the time for me to actually do it, I'm tired and I literally physically can't do it and I want to go to sleep. So that's why I've been battling lately and that's why I didn't record last night. I know that's not a good excuse. No excuse is good to be honest, but that's honestly the truth and I'm always going to keep it real with y'all. There's no point in me not keeping it real with y'all, so. Girl, I'm talking too much for someone who's already late. I'll see you guys when we get to the apartment. <laughs> we had a um, tour schedule for 3.30. Absolutely, I'll see.
just made it to public wondering how the apartment tour went it went really good we really liked it we do have another one tomorrow and i think the one tomorrow will be our final one before we really make our decision on what we're doing and where we're moving it's an update on that but i'm here at publix and i'm only here for literally like two things nothing more nothing less i'm gonna try not to get more than i need only ex only exactly what i need and I always turn the camera back around because I don't want people to think I'm recording them. Andrew left there and Good afternoon, my loves. It is the next day. It is Friday, and I am getting ready to go to the gym. And I literally need to hurry up because I work at 2, it's already 12, and I'm not even downstairs yet, which I wanted to be downstairs by now, but I'm not. I do want to get as much of my workout in as I can, so I need to hurry up. Anywho, I am a little bit, not stressed, but I have a lot planned this, um weekend i have like a couple of different things i'm working on also one of the major things is that i'm going to be moving soon like you will be moved out by next friday and that's gonna be a whole separate video you guys are gonna come along with us with the whole moving process of course but it's just crazy how like we won't be in this apartment anymore and that's just so crazy i'm excited but at the same time i'm just excited honestly like i have literally learned so much about how different mindsets like affect you what you see in your reality and that has been really helping me like get through a lot and get through a lot of different processes and i'm excited that i'm going through all these mindset shifts because you guys might not know this but i do have a podcast with my cousins and this podcast started literally back in a while ago i want to say 20 2020 2019 and at first it just started as like a place where we just talk about different things talk about different topics like living in the now being present things like that at that point in my life i was obviously in a very different mindset what i was able to contribute to those types of conversations is very different from now i have like really good news about that that i'm going to share soon about that whole podcast and that whole like project within itself and i cannot wait to share it with you guys and i will as soon as it's done that's just one of the big things that i'm working on right now with working on that i've learned and realized so many different things about mindset shifts and how living the life you want to live seems difficult but it's really not and i feel like not a lot of people realize that for a long long time i didn't realize that i was definitely still in the mindset that i need to that it takes a lot for me to get to the life I want and that's just not the case. One second, let me wash my face. If I'm being 100% transparent with you guys, it is kind of scary for me to touch on this topic because I feel like not a lot of people, well, not that. I just feel like there are still some people who may not see it this way or agree and I don't want to ruffle anyone's feathers basically is what I mean, but like I've always said, I'm always going to be me on here and I wouldn't be me without 
being able to talk about talk about my beliefs and talk about what I believe in freely. And at the end of the day, this is my YouTube channel. If there are people who don't agree with me or don't want to watch me because they don't agree with me, that's perfectly fine. That's just me talking about why I'm kind of like, you know, hesitant to speak about these types of things because I don't know who believes in what and I, again, don't want to ruffle any feathers. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Really living the way you want to is just as simple as focusing on that. Like, I know that sounds so simple, but I literally mean that. Like, just focusing on that and nothing else. If you want to be a YouTuber? Focus on the fact that you're a YouTuber already. If you want to be something, you need to realize that you need to be that thing already. It's not, oh, I'm going to be a YouTuber once I get the 10,000 subscribers. No, you're a YouTuber now. Now, you're a YouTuber now, so act as a YouTuber now. What does a YouTuber do? A YouTuber posts, a YouTuber is interactive, a YouTuber prioritizes their content. And if that's what you want to be, that's what you need to be. And that's how you manifest the life you want. I don't know, was that too much besties? I feel like that was <laughs> I will definitely talk about that more within my channel if that's something you guys are interested in. Also, like I said, the podcast and the project that I'm working on with my cousins is literally going to be that. Again, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's not like finished yet for me to just publish it out everywhere, but it definitely is coming. And yeah, I just, that's the recent mindset I've had about my life and about what I'm gonna be and about what I'm gonna do. And it really just feels so good because I've realized that there really is no limits. Like, I feel like I've talked about this before, but people always tell you like, you could be whatever you wanna be. Like, you could be whatever you wanna be. There's no limits, there's no limits. Keep going, keep going, keep going. But then the world is set up in a way where it shows you nothing but limits. And as long as you keep for focusing on the world and your reality as what it is, from what you can see in that moment, if you keep focusing that, that's all it's gonna ever be. You like, you have to be able to put your put your mind in a in a space beyond what you can already see. You have to. You have to. You want more. You need to see more and focus on more. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Because consciousness and awareness you can alter that you can alter the things you're putting your consciousness towards the things you're putting your awareness towards and personally i will be putting my awareness on the life i want not the life i have not the life i had not if it doesn't if it doesn't align with the life i want i'm not focusing on it i know where i am and i know where i'm going to be and that's the only thing i'm focused on right now so yeah i'm going to brush my teeth and we're going to go to the gym cuz i've been talking for too long Okay, love you. Bangun dan jatuh dalam engkau menyusuli ke yang